Hey guys, welcome back to BJ. This is BJ coming live at you. This is episode 120. So today's episode guys, I want to show you how three ways to access the Windows 8 boot options menu. Now, believe it or not, uh, the boot option has been consolidated in Windows 8 into a single menu called the boot option menu. Really original with the name. Uh, it provides access to repair tools and options for changing Windows startup behavior such as disabling, I mean enabling the debugging. Uh, booting into safe mode and launching into a recovery environment that Windows 8 has built. Now, the days of pressing the, the function keys or the escape key to interrupt the boot process and get into the BIOS configurations are basically gone within Windows 8. Windows 8 is trying to show their technique and create an environment for us to be more user friendly for us so I'm gonna show you guys three ways into doing this now we want to get into the first way is through the PC settings now the way that you get into PC settings we're gonna do is get into our settings go to change PC settings and we want to go into general and at the very bottom you want to go into the vax advanced startup we're gonna do a restart that bad boy is going to restart. Once it restarts, you're going to get this nice little cool choose an option. Got three options. The one that we want to do is troubleshoot. Three more options. Uh, I'm going to go to the advanced options because it's going to give you more stuff. And the one that I'm going to do for this episode is basically start up settings. Now, with start up settings, it gives you a rundown of what's going to happen. And you have to restart to get these options. So I'm going to restart and show you guys what's the big deal about it. Now, once it restarts and machine restarts, you get this nice little GUI. Now, you got 1 through 9 and F10. Believe it or not, to get one of these options, you still have to use the function keys one F1 to F9. F10 gives you more options, and you can hit Enter to continue. Real simple, right? So, for this, I'm just going to hit Enter. I'm just going to go inside my Windows operating system. I don't need to do any troubleshooting, but hey, guys, that's the first option. Now, the second option, once it boots up, I'm going to show you another nifty little trick that Windows 8 has built in, which I think it's pretty cool. So, we're back. So, I'm going to bring this up. Now, one of my episodes in my YouTube channel, you can actually check it out. I actually show you guys how to get that whole Windows screen thing disabled. So, that won't be a problem anymore. And, dun, 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 here we go. So, I'm going to go into my desktop, and the second option, believe it or not, is in the da, 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 inside the restart menu. So the way that I do that into get, getting into the boot options is if you shoot a control alt delete command, I'm going to shoot it because I'm in a virtual machine, control alt delete you want to go into the shutdown, and within the shutdown, you're going to hold the shift key. So as so as soon as you hold down the shift key and click on restart um, there's a new feature that they built within uh, Windows 8 now you're gonna get this automatically takes you right there now the feature with the restart what it is is Windows 8 included an automatic restart after failure feature so if you're restarting your machine and you hold down the shift key, it will automatically takes you to this boot option. And you basically would do the same thing. You go to troubleshoot, go to advanced settings, startup settings, hit restart, and it will restart for you. Pretty simple, right? Not too hard. Now, the last tip and trick that I don't like to show you guys of getting into the uh, boot options within the Windows 8 environment is I am more of a command geek. Kill me, sue me. Um, I'm going to show you a short command in uh, command prompt uh, that will actually get to you, you know, it will actually bring you to this uh, section of the boot option. So let me log in into this machine. Once I'm logged in, I'm going to go to the desktop and, uh, you know, start up a command prompt and I'm going to show you how to use the command prompt to get into the option. So I'm going to, I have my address bar and my task bar because believe it or not, you can use the address bar to launch stuff up so the command believe it or not is shutdown.exe slash r 
space slash o hit enter and that's it guys uh you would get this nice little warning right here uh once you get this little warning this warning right here is also part of the feature of um of the automatic restart thing as well this is also part of it so it's it's the whole command of the shutdown slash ro is basically it's an unexpected shutdown windows 8 has built this feature in so if a, if a user or uh or it person like holds down the power button that's an automatic you know unexpected shutdown it will it will bring this up for you uh, again, you go to troubleshoot, basic same things, go to troubleshoot, advanced options, and startup settings, and restart. Once the machine restarts, you got nine functions that you do. Hit F10 for more options, or hit enter to continue. That's it, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this episode. Please leave comments below and let me know what you think. If you have any ideas on the Windows 8 stuff that you guys want me to do some research on and do a video, hey, let me, uh, let me know. Also, check out my blog, you know, check out my blog and also email me from there or just leave comments below. Uh, at the very top, there is a subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button to get the latest, greatest tips and reviews on hardware and software and also gaming. And I'll catch you guys later. Thank you so much.